Hi, this is John Brunell from Agile Off-Road, and you're going to see a short video on how to install the Agile Max Auxiliary Front Shock for the Sprinter 2500-3500 four-wheel drive. You could put the jack stand here as well if you want, but we just do it here to get it out of the way. Take the cover off, take the tool kit out. That's your top strut mount. We're gonna be removing that nut. It's a 20, 24 millimeter nut. On the driver's side to access the top of the strut, you have to remove this matting. Which is a T25 Torx screw for this trim piece. This mat this pulls out. It's a separate piece on either side. Okay, remove that and there's the top of the strut on the driver's side. Washer, I'll set it aside. This plate's the upper strut bushing. That does not have to be removed. Since the suspension's hanging when you take it off the strut, we'll sometimes do that, go down, but it can't fall out. It's still attached at the base. You want to scribe the strut where it's at so that when you take it out, you can put it back in the same exact spot. That way it doesn't mess up your alignment. You also want to take out the ABS sensor because the arm will drop and you don't want to tear this sensor, this line, so you just let it slack. Just like that. Next, you want to pull the fender wells out. Set them aside. You got little clips that hold in the fender well on this side. You want to pop out. And you got these 10 millimeter plastic nuts that you want to unscrew. want to pop these two off because you're gonna end up cutting just like that We're gonna do. We're gonna place our bracket up in here. I'm gonna hold this nut plate on top inside the engine compartment. Then he's gonna through bolt it and sandwich it to the sheet metal. I'll do it that. This one can be a pain.
nice shot. Okay. 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 Alright, upper shock mount is in. Not this way, this way, because it's going to shift back. And you also want to lock tight everything you take off. You can use your original factory bolts to put these back in. This is the lower shock mount bracket. Tighten this up so this doesn't spin. This is going to be a 15 and a 17. The original bolts that you took out are all 16s. This is an 18. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be 
Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Bob is going to back in place. He's got his roof tight. Lock tight. No, it's tight. I didn't notice there's any max tracks in your Jeep. You I don't You're gonna put both pillow blocks on first. Both blocks are in. I've rolled tacos. All right, I'll clamp this back in here.
changed my mind. This does look good on the right. 